Today we're going to talk about five money challenges that women face. I am Marcy McKay. I'm Mark McKay. Welcome to Safe Smart Solutions. Please subscribe and join us weekly as we learn new and exciting ways to protect your assets and retire tax free. So, what are we going to talk about today, Marcy? Women! Women. Stay tuned because you're not going to believe the end. <laughs> Women and money and how we get screwed. No, the, uh, the first one is, and this one is obvious, longer life expectancy. Women tend to live at least two to three years longer than their partners. So we bear the financial burden. You know, I, I, I think that is something that the, the financial planning industry or the financial services industry takes into consideration because, you know, that's the one thing they are good at is, is actuarial statistics and, and more so in how it affects them. Right. But, but, but when, when we've put together comprehensive financial plans, and I'm talking about going back to the 80s, um, with, with some not very forward-thinking companies, you know, that, that was something that we factored in that, you know, back then it was... 75 was the, you know, it's the, the numbers have changed so much, but um, I, I do think that, that that also brings up a lot of other financial planning issues. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So the first, longer life expectancy. Women tend to live longer than men. Number two is, in the words of Gwyneth Paltrow, uncoupled. Over half of the marriages out there in, in divorce, and even if you aren't officially married, um, you know, couples, not all couples stay together. And so once again, the financial burden falls on women. And a lot of women, you know, don't ever even get married, so they're always the, the head of their, their household. And yet, we don't empower women with, with their money. So, number one, women live longer. Number two, uncoupled. Number three, higher health cost. Because women live longer, we have more um, health struggles. And, and that is a big, big thing. What do you think about that? I, 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 I hadn't really thought about the health care costs. Obviously, if, if you live longer, you know, the majority of your health care costs are in the last few years. Um, but there, there are also some issues there because you, you might have a situation where a woman maybe didn't participate in the workforce. Absolutely. Because she was part, you know, that that, that reduces her earning power yep. when she's in her 40s and 50s. Yep. It reduces the amount, you know, depending on what state they're in. Um, but think about how many clients you've had over the years whether the, the husband was dying and, you know, of a terminal illness or the wife comes to you and is suddenly widowed, she never learned how, how to manage the finances. She never even wrote a check. You know, she was just always taken care of, and then suddenly, you know, she's at a loss for what to do. You know, and you know who, who pays the price in that? Their children and The oldest daughter. In, yeah. In, in, and granted, I, I realize that's that's a, no, a generalization, I mean, it, 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 but but, but I have dealt with that. You know, they like came through and like you know, you know, Mama has seven different annuities with four right. different people. Can you help me straighten these out? Which ones are are not good and, and right. which, that kind of thing. Um, but but we we do see that a lot. Right, and so that brings me to number four is the work gap. If, if women do choose to participate in, in the workforce, they haven't worked as long as men. Why? Because they've been out having children and raising children and then taking care of older parents later in life. That's that sandwich generation, which is exactly well, yeah, I, I what you're talking I, about. I stole your thunder when, no, you, no, no. when you were talking about the uncoupled, that that, that is a factor that... that you know, one, it, it's it's a very expensive process, and, and right. I, let's talk specifically about divorce. We we will get into to more details because it is something that unfortunately right. We're not all bad news today. I'm just setting it up. <laughs> no, but but it's it, it's not bad news if you're it's, aware of it it's ahead reality. of time. It, it's it's, it's truth. Right. It's it's knowledge. Right. Um, what we're talking about? Um, the the work gap. You know, women are, are out of the workforce because they're having babies, raising kids, or taking care of older parents later. And so, you, you know, know I, I think also sometimes when you have a partnership where, you know, let's let's say the the the, the male partner is making mid six figures, well, the 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 female 
might think, okay, well, I'm going to go do 20 hours a week, you know, do, do a passion, you know, but maybe not maximizing her earning potential, maybe not maximizing how much she's putting into her 401k, her IRA, right. her, her, you know, long-term care plan, whatever the situation may be that she needs to save for. Uh, but I hadn't really thought about that, that, that we, we really kind of put their career on pause. Right. Um, when I say we, we society, but... Um. Not you. <laughs> so the last thing is wage gap. For every dollar a man makes, a woman only makes 82 cents. And so she's having to work even harder to save up and more than likely she hasn't been in the workforce as long as her male counterparts. So that puts her even further back. And so, you know, it's, and, and again, we don't empower women how to know about their money, how, how to claim their, their financial power. And so that's something, I mean, I'm so grateful that, that you are so passionate about. So again, just to, to re reiterate quickly, number one, the top five financial challenges, the ones I wanted to talk about today, life expectancy, women live longer than men, Two, uncoupled marriages either end a divorce or the couple don't stay together. Three, women have higher health care costs than men because we live longer. Four, um, the work gap. And five, the wage gap. So You know, it's, it's interesting because I think I've, I've been somewhat... My first job at Merrill Lynch, I, I sat in a cubicle. This was back when, when you had the, the CRT monitors. to We had to go program the the codes for the stocks, but the per and Merrill Lynch didn't want to pay an exchange fee for each new broker. They wanted to get you in there and get all your, your family and friends money and then throw you to the wind. But, <laughs> um, but my, my first partner was uh, a female and there were several very successful and, and influential female brokers in that office. So I think I was a little bit, naive about the disparity when it comes to, to not just some of the the, the career challenges and, and the health and the age, but the um, you know the the attitudes of of the average financial service provider, whether he be a um, you know a CPA or or a mutual fund salesman or an insurance guy or stock and bond guy. I I, I think you know as an industry they they've not not done the best job of, of educating and, and and bringing women to the table. Right, right. So, what what sort of solutions do we have for people for women in in investing that there's a smarter, safer way well, out there and, and, because of their challenges, sort yeah. of starting further back than their male counterparts. But if but if you know what the challenges are ahead of time, then you can bring these issues up and say, okay, well, this is great, but. You know, what if I do have this stretch here where I've got 10 years where... Or even if they chose to, to stay home full time and, and, and raise kids and they've never entered the, the workforce because, you know, they, they, there's not one size fits all. Well, you know, and a lot of times what we'll see is a woman in her 50s, you know, out of the blue. And I, this is going to upset me a little bit because I've had to pull over on the side of the road. My, my clients, you know, because you're, you're sitting at the table, you're going through their finances they, they feel like you're a part of it and they'll call me and say, Mark, you know, we need to, we need to, to talk to you. And, and, you know, they're basically, I'm the third person they let know they were getting divorced. Right. But, but a lot of times what, what, what will happen then is all of a sudden the, you know, one of the partners, and it's not always the female, but one of the partners now has half of the assets, doesn't really know why they own those assets. Right. Don't really know what the purpose of those assets are, the best way to structure those or monitor, you know, so it, it is important that, that everyone is involved in the process as you go along because you don't know what's going to happen down the road. Right, right. But as far as, as investing, what would be your biggest suggestion? I, I think just make sure that, that if you bring up these issues that they are heard and that, um, that you're not brushed off. And, you know, trust your gut. I, I remember standing in a very, very fancy, I mean, it was my office, but the, the guy next to it was even fancier and, and a multimillionaire ranch owner, you know, 
came in, he was asking a very specific legal tax question. And I watched this executive VP just make up stuff off the top of his head. And I'm like, are you so insecure that you can't say, hey, let me go ask right. Ross from I, accounting? I, <laughs> you know, I don't know, but I can find the answer out. You know, get, give this me guy was not going to judge you. You know, he didn't know the answer. Right. Be a big boy and say, hey, let me uh, let me double check on that. We'll get back to you. We'll send you a, a phone call or an email next week. Um, that kind of thing. I, I forgot why I got off on that tangent. But uh, <laughs> you know what? If if you would like to learn how to take that next step. And, and, and work with people who understand some of the unique challenges that you might face, click the link in our descriptions, watch the 40-minute masterclass, educate yourself, set up a strategy session after that. You know, it's a Zoom call. We'll look at numbers. We'll talk about ideas. If you don't like it, don't answer my next phone call. You know, it's, it's easy. It's, it's, it's educational. Well, and, and it might not just be a, a woman out here, I mean, watching this right now, share this with, with your sister, your daughter, your best friend. I mean, the, the way that we change things is, is to help each other and to, to educate people. So um, I hope this has been helpful. Again, click subscribe. If you've got questions, please let us know. Um, but we hope this has been helpful because we both feel very, very strongly about empowering women to have more power over their money. So, thank you. Have a great week.